there is some news about Charlotte football. They, they have fired a head coach, Will Healy. Uh, he was 15 and 24 overall in four seasons. I mean, in four seasons, including one and seven this year. Yeah, that's going to get you fired for sure. It's kind of like what you have done lately. My top 10 for Division 1 FBS football goes as follows. Georgia, 1. Ohio State, 2. Michigan, 3. Tennessee, 4. Clemson, 5. Alabama, 6. Oregon, 7. Because of that win over UCLA. TCU's number 8. Oklahoma State is moved up back to the top 10 at number 9. Temporarily. Wake Forest at number 10. That's my top 10, but teams on the outside like USC, UCLA, Utah, Penn State, Ole Miss. And I'm going to go over like the polls for the game. Like for the AP poll this week, as well as the coaches poll. The AP poll goes as follows. Georgia 1, Ohio State 2, Tennessee 3, Michigan 4, Clemson 5, Alabama 6, TCU 7, Oregon 8, o Oklahoma State number 9, USC and Wake Forest are tied in number 10. I don't like ties. Could we just decide who's one spot ahead of who on this? UCLA 12, Penn State 13, o o Utah 14, Sir uh, Ole Miss 15, Syracuse 16, Illinois 17, LSU 18, Kentucky 19, Cincinnati 20, 21 is North Carolina, 22 is Kansas State, Tulane's 23, NC State 24, South Carolina is then number 25. Now the coaches poll has the same top nine teams in exact same order. Exact same. Number 10 for them is Wake Forest. Then number 11 is USC. 12 is Ole Miss. Penn State 13. Utah 14. UCLA 15. Syracuse 16. Kentucky 17. Illinois 18. Cincinnati 19. LSU 20. 21 is North Carolina, which is the same. Kansas State's number 22. NC State and Tulane are like 23 and 24 respectively. In South Carolina, number 25. So, and college game day is headed to not a top 25 matchup, but Jackson State, like a grudge match between Jackson State versus I mean, Southern versus Jackson State. And for that game pick, I'm going with Jackson State. That's who I would go with in the game. And now my top twenty-five games is like teams like that with the game this week. Obviously, I think there will be a few upsets on Thursday. Two Thursday games, and it goes as follows: NC State versus Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's two and five. They're rebuilt. Bell mode. NC State should win that game, but you never know because. NC State does not have their starting quarterback. Remember, Washington State versus Utah. This is a trap game because it's on the road, and what Washington State is a good team despite the four and three record, and it's a tough place to play. Utah's favored by eight points here. This game might be closer than expected, but I don't know. Utah has the defensive edge in the game, but watching you know, offensive and defensive edge in terms of numbers here. So give me Utah in this game, but it's going to probably be closer. I mean, it's going to be within 14 points, I would think. Now, Saturday, all the rest are Saturday games from here. Number two, Ohio State at Pitt State. That is a road test and the first true test for Ohio State all year long. Let's just be real because Notre Dame is terrible. 
I just think Ohio State's the better team here, despite being on the road. So I'm taking Ohio State. TCU at West Virginia. TCU is favored by seven points. TCU has knocked out at least two quarterbacks or three since Big 12 play and, and Big 12 play this year. They have. Uh, it's kind of eyebrow raising. And well, I know part of it's got to be because. Like, those guys were already hurt going into the game, but still. I just think Neil Brown for West Virginia has to coach the game. to try to find a win just to get his, save his job. And it's going to be a shootout because West Virginia's defense, they're horrible against the pass. They are. But. At the same time, TCU's defense against the pass isn't great either. That's a problem. This is going to be a high-scoring game, but I think West Virginia finds a way to win. Though I wouldn't be shocked if TCU would lose. I just think at some point TCU is going to have to lose a conference game or two down the line. It's Or even three because of the defense. Syracuse versus Notre Dame. Syracuse is only favored by two points. Syracuse should win this game. I'm sorry, Notre Dame. Georgia versus Flo- I mean Georgia and Florida, and this is in the T I A A Bank Field. Yeah, in Jacksonville. I don't see Georgia losing this game, so. I'm not going to say they're invincible either because they are not invincible. Oregon at Cal. Oregon. Kansas State versus Oklahoma State. This is a tough game for me to pick, to be fair, because I don't know about Adrian Martinez's health status. And I know Spencer Sanders played in that last game. I just think Oklahoma State's going to have a letdown in this game. And I know Kansas State's not known for that passing, but it is on the road, though. And either way, a team is going to have two conference losses. I just think it's going to be Oklahoma State in this one. I just think so, but it's a coin flip. To me, it is. Wake Forest at Louisville. Wake Forest, Illinois at Nebraska, Illinois, Cincinnati at UCF, ooh, this is a tough one here, because I could totally see an upset happening, I mean, UCF's offense is really good, it's pretty even in terms of numbers, though, defensively, Cincinnati has the edge. But offensively, UCF has the edge. So, UCF is going to pull off the upset here. South Carolina versus Missouri. South Carolina. USC at Arizona. Arizona may be improved, but I don't think not improved enough to beat at USC. Now, Kentucky at Tennessee. Tennessee's favored by 14. This is the first true big test since the Alabama game. Tennessee obviously owns the offensive advantage, while Kentucky owns the defensive advantage. This is strength on strength here. It is. I just think this is going to be a close game, closer than 14 points right now. I'm taking Tennessee. Though it's pretty much a coin flip to me. Michigan versus Michigan State. Michigan better beat Michigan State this year. They're terrible on defense. And Michigan State is 3-4. And And if they lose to Michigan State, it's like typical Jim Harbaugh losing to a rival every single year. Or nearly every year here. Come on. 
And you know, records don't matter in rivalry games either, so. That's another reason, too. To be worried. Ole Miss at Texas A&M. Ole Miss better watch out for a letdown game. A&M needs this win badly. I mean, they lost to South Carolina last week, and A&M's 3-4. and four. Ole Miss is favored by three points right now. Ooh. Obviously, Ole Miss has the offensive advantage. Defense, A&M is pretty good. Though, they allow 179 rushing yards per game. That's an issue because Ole Miss could run the ball. And I think that's what they're going to do and beat A&M. I'm sorry, Aggies fans. I'm sorry. But your fifth loss is coming. But it's absolutely a trap game for, I mean, like a t like a let possible letdown game for Ole Miss here. North Carolina versus Pitt. I'm gonna this Pitt would have been there. They should have been ranked by now, but they're like four and three right now. Defensively, Pitt owns the advantage. There's no question. Offensively, North Carolina owns the advantage. There's no question about that either. But I have a hard time seeing Pitt win this game. So, yeah, I'm going with North Carolina. Stanford at UCLA. This better watch out for a letdown for UCLA, but I don't think they're going to lose to Stanford. I mean, they're 3-4 and four this year. They better not lose to them. That will be a bad loss. So, yeah. That's all my game picks, including a college game day pick. And the news of the Charlotte head coach getting fired. So, anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. It's going to be important to subscribers and more by the end of this year.